On the picturesque Lakipia Plateau of Kenya, Dr. Shirley Strum has been studying several troops of baboons for nearly five decades. One of her aims is to better understand their collective decision making. With troop sizes varying between 20 to 150 individuals, it can be difficult to keep track of both group level and individual movement trajectories, particularly since the baboons prefer rough terrain and large boulders as sleeping sites. To improve her logistical ability to attract multiple animals, she reached out to the team at Engineers for Exploration where we set to work using drone footage to get a bird's eye view of the entire troop, unlocking information about baboon behavior that has not previously been available. To process the drone footage, first, movement of the camera is corrected for, ensuring that all the previous or historical frames share the same origin. This process begins with looking for common features between the current frame and the historical frames. Using the common features, a transformation is then calculated. This transformation can be applied to the historical frames, generating the adjusted historical frames which now share origins with the current frame. The adjusted historical frames are then combined using an intersection algorithm. The intersections are then unioned together, generating a single reference of what the background should look like. This reference background is compared against the current frame to extract the moving baboons. We can then convert each baboon into a single centroid using blob detection. The output centroid of the blob detection represents the results of our motion detector. The next goal is to keep track of the baboons over time. This is difficult because we may lose the baboons for numerous reasons. It is possible that a baboon may be occluded by a tree or other obstacle. A baboon may also stop moving, making them indistinguishable from their background. In order to address this, we create a probabilistic map of where the baboons are most likely to be. The first step in generating the map is predicting how and where a baboon is likely to move during the next frame. This prediction can be done using a neural network that takes inputs about the scene and provides confidence intervals for the baboon's next most likely position. These predictions can then be updated using the observations from the motion detector to improve upon the prediction, thus generating our probabilistic map. Looking back at the team's success and with the goal of continued progress into the future, we would like to thank everyone who has made this possible, including the current team, former team members, and the collaborators. If you would like to learn more about the project, feel free to contact us at the email listed on the screen.